Would you like to open or you want to go to questions? No, I certainly will. Um, you know, I thought, uh, uh, obviously disappointed with the result. I thought uh, after a tough week, uh, a week of uh, COVID and guys in, guys out, uh, adjusted practice schedules, um, you know, lots of distractions. I couldn't couldn't be more pleased with the effort, but uh, certainly not the result. And um, uh, I thought we had our opportunities um, to, to win the football game in the end. Um, our inability to really kind of protect the quarterback uh, certainly will show up as one of the main stats. I did have the chance to take the lead there in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, um, unfortunately missed the field goal. They answered it and um, uh, uh, didn't, didn't go our way. So uh, with that, I'll uh, see what questions you guys have. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Nick Carboni, and then we'll go to John Alexander. Matt, I think Sam had about five yards per attempt. Was that more because of the protection, or did you think there were a few shots he, he, you guys could have had down the field, a few more? Yeah, I think we struggled in protection, knowing coming in, you know, knowing that these guys, you know, they're as good a rush team as you know. If you've seen, you saw them against Brady a couple weeks ago. Obviously, some guys were out for them last week, um, but uh, you know, our, our our whole game plan was to run the football, try to control it, uh, move the ball down the field, keep the game close, win the game in the fourth quarter. Um, so, you know, um, uh, at the end of the day. Um, you know, uh, obviously a lot of throws at the end that are incomplete because of the situation that we're in and uh, weren't able to protect them. I thought Sam, you know, even that last interception, I mean, we, we called a hook and lateral just trying to get back and have a chance. Um, so, you know, they're, they're a really good defense. Uh, we knew that coming in. I um, thought Sam uh, 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 made plays, you know, some aggressive plays at times. Um, but, uh, you know, that was kind of us knowing who they are and how good they are on defense. You know, Matt, you, know, you said you wanted to see what you, you had in, in Sam in this game. What, despite, you know, how the offensive line played, what were you able to take away from what Sam was able to do good in the bad? Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to, I'll have to watch the tape to see. I mean, you know, uh, thought we did a good down, some, a good good job on some third down conversions. You know, I think we were six, at least according to this, that we were six of fourteen at one point. Um, you know, obviously we limited our penalties coming here. I think according to this, we only had one penalty. You know, Sam was seventeen of tw twenty six. Um, you know, um, but again, you know, for us to truly see whether it's Sam or Cam or anybody else, truly see what somebody could do, we have to, we have to just have a little more consistency up front. You know, there's too many sacks that we took, and then as a result, you know, the sack fumble that le led to points um, kind of changes the way that you want to call the game. You know, you're having to be very, very um, uh, careful on third down uh, because you know I think our defense was playing really good defense. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, they didn't score a touchdown until the last drive. They held them to field goals. There were a ton of short fields. Um, you know, at least from where I stood, I was really proud of, of our defensive effort today. And more, more importantly, I was really proud of our special teams effort uh, from the guys that were covering, um, you know, getting doubled out there. Uh, and Harris is as good a returner as there is. And um, I thought those guys, um, they, they did a good job because we played too much on our side of the field, you know, especially uh, in the third quarter. Go ahead and go to uh, Joe Parsons, Bob like Aaron. Matt, uh, you mentioned the protection. There were a couple of times, pretty big plays, where you looked like you guys turned guys loose. Uh, the sack fumble that you referenced, and then uh, on the 22 blitz on the final series, just from the sideline, any idea? Yeah, yeah. The one, the one was the max protection, you know. So, so Ian's got the first one. Amir has the second one. Um, you know, Ian took one, uh, Amir went to the second one. Who's right, who's wrong, I can't say. But we ended up just going right past that, you know, that, that blitzer, just, you know, two guys. Because they, I think they, I think they blitzed Joe and crossed and we just didn't execute it, didn't pick it up. Uh, on the last one, we're just hot. You know, the ball to has to get out of the quarterback's hand. Um, um, you know, he's working the, working the boundary. It's two minute, there's no chance to repoint those. So uh, they brought a ton of pressure today. Um, that's really what people are doing is just bringing a bunch of pressure. Um, I thought the third down call that led to the field goal, you know, we knew we had to be inside the 32 to kick a field goal. Uh, they brought, you know, two guys off the edge. Sam did a great job, side adjusted it, got it to Robbie. Robbie's like half a block away from maybe scoring. Um, and unfortunately, we missed the field goal. So, but that was that was those two plays. Um, you know, from the field level, I haven't obviously seen the tape. Matt, you had uh, C.J. Henderson, Justin Burris out there in uniform, but apparently not doing a lot. Were they able to play? And how much of what you were able to do defensively was kind of dictated by the numbers of guys? To um, you know, obviously this week have, having some guys go down uh, with COVID and then come back. And um, so some guys like, you know, JB, who's had a, t a bad groin, he was available, but we, you know, we played the other guys and had him up as an emergency. CJ went out before the game. He warmed up. He ran around. His knee's still bothering him. But, um, 
Um, you know, he was available as an emergency guy. So we had those guys in case we need him. I thought uh, it looked like Rashawn Melvin showed up a couple of times really nicely in the run game. Um, you know, unfortunately, uh, we gave up the one big pass down the sideline, you know, from our own three-yard line on third and 13, you know, before the half that led to points for them. So um, I thought there were, you know, there were some good good things in, in, in the back end, but uh, probably gave up too many yards passing um, at, at times. Um, but, yeah, that's why those guys were out. They just uh, – they're not 100% healthy, um, but we just don't have the numbers right now to not have them up as emergency guys. Will Kunkel and then David Newton. You guys had five straight drives where you had, I guess, 16 total plays, two yards at a point offensive. What do you see on the sidelines during those moments, and what is there to possibly do to kind of snap out of it? Yeah, just just not really uh, winning up front. Um, you know, in, in the run game and then going to have to go to the protection game and not really being able to protect, to be quite honest. I mean, just, um, you know, we knew coming in uh, the defense that they have, uh, the front that they had, we, you know, I think early on we were able to keep them off balance a little bit. That last drive, we were able to mix it up and keep them off balance a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, in the end, their, their front, you know, won, won the game for them with, you know, with us with a chance to go win it. We um, weren't able to get them blocked. So, um, uh, you know, kind of the same, you know, sort of, the, the same story we've had at times when we haven't played well offensively. It's it's kind of just that up front, just not being able to quite win um, in the run game, in the pass game, um, at the level that you need to, to to win a game like this. And just real quick to follow up on that, when that does happen, defense is playing well, how much pressure does that add to the defense to have to keep it up? Well, I mean, I, I, that's kind of what the defense wants, though. The defense is basically saying, what they're saying. The defensive coaches and players are saying, you know, run the ball, run the clock, punt the ball down. Like, let's not turn the ball over. You know, it is what it is. We wish we could score 40 points against these guys, but um, n not many people do. Like, you know, the de you know, defense was great today. Our guys on defense kept saying, hey, we're going to have to get a turnover. We're going to have to take the ball away. We came into the game knowing, you know, to beat these guys, we're going to have to take the ball away. Um, so it's just, you know, trying to play complimentary football. Obviously, Playing defense when you have a you know a, a big day offensively you know you can really let it uh, rip. Um, I think we did a great job you know for a defense that struggled in the red zone during the year we held them to field goals until that very last one. Um, I thought today was a big step defensively um, for us, uh, but uh, but uh, yeah I mean it, it makes it hard. But at the same time you know if you're in that situation you, you try to play to the defense and um, you know just just uh, not do something that you know not do something that gives them a short field like we did on the one. Hey, Matt, you kind of answer it a little bit, but just how much of this season offensively has been a fail because of the offensive line not being able to protect and block? Um, you, you guys know me. I'm not going to make some, you know, I'm going to struggle not to make like a big, st but I just think, you know, I think, you know, when you have, you know, when you have 11 different offensive line combinations, when you have, you know, guys have, you know, when you have guys getting elevated from the practice squad, when you have guys changing positions, all those different things, um, you're not going to have the unity that, that you want. You're not going to have the cohesiveness that you want. Um, so, you know, we, we've talked about it. You know, you, you guys have asked me about it. We've talked about it since the very beginning. Um, we've had runs where we've been able to protect the quarterback and be, you know, be consistent. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't care who you are when you play quarterback. If you, if you don't have a run game or you don't have a you know, pretty nice protection game, it's going to be difficult. Um, I thought when Sam had protection, I thought he was able to complete balls and, you know, uh, made, made some nice throws. Um, but, uh, you know, they, again, this is a really good defense that we faced. We knew that they were going to, you know, put us under duress. And what changed as far as that duress when you went from Sam starting nine for nine to from then on? Um, in, in terms, of, I think I think really you know, we had some runs early, David. I think like we had like I think I think we had like uh, I think it says, it says here we finished with 28 uh, yards rushing. I, I never know what the hammy is, I, I, but in the first half I don't know how many yards we had rushing, but we were able to keep them off balance, right? So it was like a run, then a naked, then a run, then you know uh, converted some third downs on you know a bubble on, on a slant. Um, as as the run game you know, started to, to bog down a little bit as they started to take away the run game, uh, forces you into more of a drop back mode. And we tried hard not to do that. Um, you know, we had the one f uh, fumble, um, which we tried to, you know, protect the defense. And um, unfortunately, just uh, that last, you know, we had a chance to kick the field goal to take the lead, missed it, and then they were able to go down and score and, and kind of change the game. So, um, but I think it's all complimentary. It's the D, it's the running game into as you know keeping them off balance because when you're struggling to run it, they can um, they can uh, you know really kind of line up and come after you.